I don't know if anybody's going to show up and I just figure I'll let y'all see what's going on. So what's going on is I am cleaning up my robots in the middle of what seemingly is Armageddon. Seemingly. So... If you're watching these markets, you'll know. Let's be go to C O R I N G. Echo. Bitcoin is taking a bit of a crapper at the 33,000 33, mark. We're having a huge sell off. And this is the double side of the news, right? So for those of y'all that have been dealing with this for the last few days, China FUD was that they were going to start cracking down on the miners, right? Now, the news just went crazy and blasted everything, and that brought the markets down one level. Then the markets came down another level because China released more news that they are serious about it. And then now you're starting to see multiple things happen. One, the hash rate is dropping down, I believe. Let me check if I have. Hold on. Let me see if that is. Hold on. How do I see the new? Let me see here. Bitcoin hash. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Ah, hash rate dropped, right? Now, why is this important? As you see, the energy goes up when there's a problem. The energy usage of Bitcoin in China or anywhere. This is all of the total hash rate, right? In the entire world, every machine that's running. Now, what's happening is there was a dip in hash rate in October, and then we saw the price make a drop, and then we saw the bit rate go back up. This was when, in China, a, an event happened, and it dropped the price down. It was an environmental thing, it was some storm or something. Or, but but evident, like they had to shut down um, because of something. Then we've had a hash rate dip here. It looks like the 18th, 19th with one set of FUD. And now we're seeing another hash rate drop. Now I'm watching, I've been kind of, you know, I get my news early in the morning. So I kind of have a, a grip on this one. Again, this has been seen before. It, this happens. This is the big thing with Bitcoin. Right? Nobody understands. Right now, because everybody can be in the market, out the market in a instant, instant, instantaneous, instantaneously. There we go. I'm still early. I'm still waking up. Because you can get in and out of the market fast, fast like them fast things. Boom, this thing will drop fast on you. So what I'm doing now, and I have a class that's going to be rolling out um, on uh, let me show you so people don't think I ain't putting on this work, man. I ain't putting in this work. Hold on, let me go over here. Do 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 do. Where is it? Where is it? Where are you? Did I close you? Don't tell me I closed you already. I may have closed you because I was getting to work on this, and my ADD is horrible. Um, oh, no, it is. it's still open. There it is. I can just drag it over here. Uh, so 
as you can see, I've got the I've been working on that class that I was telling you about. I'm been cranking through it. I actually got some more some more work. I'm on like slide 36. So like, yeah, this is coming along. It'll be there. Um, I'll have it for Monday um, to show you what I'm doing with these bots. So but I am dealing with these bots. Today is not exactly a good day for bots. Let me uh, make sure I got my there we go. So what I have to do, and like I said, the instruction stuff is coming next week, but what I'm doing and what I'm, I figured if, since I got to clean up anyway, I can be on and talk to y'all while I'm cleaning up this cluster that is the market. Um, give me a second. I just need to look at something. Eh, eh, eh. Where is, there you go. All right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Cool. All right. So, hope everyone's cool. All right. So, what I'm doing is, as you can see, my robots, I've uh, had to shut off some of them. I've got a couple more I need to shut off because... What I'm seeing is underneath the status, I've got range issues, right? So I've got, what that means is when you click over here, and this is a good real world example of when bot, like this bot, look at this. Real world example that the market is taking a crapper and it's still made. I'm saying that bots kind of alleviate a little of your pressure of buying and holding because I'm not focused on buying and holding. I just want to be a part of the market. And when my robots are out of range, I'm not. So I'm kicking them off and I'm canceling all the open orders. Um, what I could do is I could either cancel all the open orders. I could sell at the market price. Well, canceling all the open orders is basically just cancel the orders and leave what I have in my, in my, like if I, whatever I'm cutting off. So like right now I'm doing PDEX and USDT. It's just basically saying, I want my USDT and I want the PDEX that I have that I've already bought. Leave it be. Um, when you're dealing with, the other stuff, hold on. So let me cancel this. When you're dealing with the next thing is sell at the market price, that's dump everything at the market price or place limit order so that you can get break even. So it's gonna try to sell things that you just break even. That's good too. If you need to get out gracefully. I'm gonna just cancel, um, I am going to, I wanna keep everything. So I'm canceling all open orders. I wanna keep everything because I'm gonna turn the bots right back on. I just wanna drop the range down. Same on Cody. You see, it's out of range. I'm keeping these range tight um, because I'm not using that much money. So let me scroll this down. Turn off this one. Do, 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 do. Then what you can do is you can go over here to spot history. And there's all your bots that are been turned off. You can see all of them have been, you don't see any bot that's not have been uh, in profit margin. So um let's go i gotta see which one the way that you can quickly tell um whether or not a bot is rolling properly or not um if you if you're turning them back on is to see whether or not you've activated so i can click here and just easily see whether or not my bot is on or not so which one i need to go uh, to do next so there we go gotta do this one i'm just marking the um what i see here this is the um your i'm testing certain levels so this one's at 19 i don't know if that's a good number or not i'm just looking at what i had set so that i could try to reset them pretty much close to what i'm doing is i'm looking up here to see whether or not i'm gonna have to buy more of something so I need to drop this down what I'm doing is I'm trying to get the upper price you see this these lines are basically this is where you want to sell at this is the top your upper price you don't want that what I want to do is I want to fall right underneath it so there's that line there's two lines there there's one line left see the two lines one line I'm getting rid of it so now I'm right underneath all of that now I need, you see there's 45 grid levels here. I need to get that down. So I'm dropping that down real fast. I said we have about 19, but as long as I see, I don't, I'm not buying anything extra. I'm pretty good with that. 
I like 22, 198. Everything with computers, it seems to run better if you do evens over odds. That's why I was kind of wor kind of weird that I had a a um a 19 instead of a 20 or 24. I I always like to do also things like um um fours. So think of it like how you do memories, right? When you do buy memory sticks, it's like two, four, six, or you can buy four and four, you can buy eight gigs or 16 gigs. Um, that's kind of how I look at it. That's how I like to get certain numbers or I'll just have two and just try to keep everything even. It just seems to work better that way. And I'll test which even numbers I use just to see for a particular ticker how it does. I'm not going to worry about back testing because typically I would back test, but I'm not going to care about that because there's not enough information for that. We've dropped. This is a serious. This is just this is how you patch your bots during um, Armageddon. So it's going to tell me it's going to start selling some of the stuff. That's fine. It needs to so that it can get inside this trade. So that's cleared up TCP. Just waiting for this thing to stop spinning. See if I can get in. All right. Yep. See, we, this might not make it. This might crash out on me. Says it's been placed. If this moves over and flips over to the spots, then I know it has, but it did it. All right. So that's how you know it actually. Sometimes it breaks and it doesn't do it. All right, you can see I've already started an hour ago. I started adding things in. I just decided, um, I started um, I started fixing things. I was like, well, why not show y'all how to deal with this, right? How do you deal with this? Uh, let me see, give me a second. I need to check on something. Uh. Hold on. Give me a second. I forgot to even put something in the Discord. Do, do, do. Hold on one second, y'all. I'm going to, I'm just notifying the Discord. I forgot to do that. Bonehead. Bonehead. Where is my... When you have like 50 million windows open and you feel like a damn putz because you can't find the one window you want, and you know it's staring you right in the damn face, but you still don't see that thing because you dumb as all. That's me right now. Staring at the window right in my face. All right, and then I just need to uh, go here, get this open, copy this, and then just edit this. And put that in there. Toma. All right, now I'm back to work. All right, so like I said, I will have the training on this, um, but you'll get a lot out of this because I'm even seeing some things over here. And that's what I'm kind of doing as I'm seeing how I'm going to work with the, some other plays because I may not go 100% with all my plays again. But we will uh, begin to figure out whether or not that's going to be a thing or not. Give me one moment. Let me go check on Madukes.
All right, sorry about that. I had to check on the fam, my lamb. All right. Okay, okay, okay. So I put that in the Discord. Now let's clean this up. All right, so back to this. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So what you got, what I'm doing is these are my spots. Um, I don't do futures. So I don't have a futures history or futures bots. I just do spots. That means I'm just doing what's going on in the market right now on the spot, right? Uh, the history, these are all the bots I am now trying to get back online because, you know, the market took a crapper. So we got to fix them. Got to be liquidity. That's what this is. This entire thing about these robots is being a liquidity provider in that you make the money positioning yourself to make trades period i don't care if the market is going up down uh, I, I i care if the market going up but i'm not buying and holding right so um, let me check i'm clicking again i'm clicking and i'm looking to see whether or not it tells me if i have a bot started or not because you can only have one bot started in one pair so there we go that's the next bot vra that i need to get into this is still a high risk play but i'll play it it's not that much money involved. Some of these are just little scalping plays I'm doing just to see. I want to keep an eye on certain tickers. I'll just keep an eye on them. All right. I'm not going to have to pay any extra money on this. Let's just get these numbers looking right, though. Screw. Uh, 28. Yeah, like 28. There we go. 28 grid levels. Yeah, that looks good. All right, we're going to go. Yeah, we're going to have to sell to get into it. Go ahead. And we'll wait for this. Mm -hmm. But so anyway, while we wait on that, we I can talk about some of this crap that's going on. Like so blockchain, right? This that go market. Oh wait. Shoot. See, sometimes it cracks out like I said. Hold on. Uh, where are you? That one's the one we were doing. Yep. So 18 198 was my number. 18 198. Slide this down. Slide this down. Slide this up so we can see that we just underneath it, then go for 18 or at least 20. There, start. Trying to see if this damn thing's gonna force me to now do a trade I didn't want to do. Because I didn't want to buy something with extra. But yeah, it's gonna pull it. It's alright. As long as it's running, I don't care. Makes no money sitting idle. When this drop is an awesome buy. And oh shoot, what was that? Forgot. DSLA 198 18, 198 18. Drop it down. Do do 198. 198. 18. Bong. Right? Right, 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 right. How much was on this last time? I can't click it now. See? Just screw it. Just let it run. Yeah, go ahead. Waiting for this to go. So, yeah. All right. So, like I was saying, with China right now, 
there's a lot of news that's been going on as far as the the miners that are that have not registered to say I am mining all these facilities that were, you know, hey, let me grab a laptop and I'm just gonna spin it up and I'm gonna mine some Ethereum. Like when all of us saw, in fact, hold on, I'm gonna show. Let me finish my boss, my ADD. I'm gonna show y'all some stuff in, with this China thing in a second. I gotta finish because my ADD is horrible and I need to finish what I'm doing. So give me one minute. Let me do this. Um, did I do you yet? No. Uh, yes. Okay. So I'll do you. You are one ninety eight fourteen. Let's do this fast. So that uh, I'll show y'all what I'm talking about. Let me just do this. One ninety eight fourteen. Zoom in. Uh, drop you down, but let's drag you right there. One ninety eight. You said fourteen. Right there. Okay. Start. Yes, so. Just wait, wait. <laughs> Let's check the chat, see if anybody's here anyway. While I wait, while I wait. I gotta figure out how to do my screens better, man. I'm horrible with this shite. No, nope, I'm chilling by myself. It's cool. So I just keep on going. <laughs> All right. Let's see. What else is here? PDEX. Is live, it's trailing. DSLA is done. You're done. You're not done. Gotta get it. 198.25. That's a dumb number. What did it do? $15. It still did 8%. I'll take it. But I think we can crunch that a bit better. But I like the 198. 198. But my ass forgot what is the number. 25, 25, 198, 25. And 98. One ninety eight twenty five. It is costing me. Now it's not. All right. That was good. Start. Why are you starting your bots, tragic? Why are you starting your bots? I'm starting my bots because I want to catch this bottom, and I want the bots to find it. I want my bots to hunt. And they do nothing on the sidelines. They can do nothing on the sidelines. You've got to be willing to trade in a market like this. Right? And th I think this helps, man. I think that if you, you start thinking differently financially, like, we don't have any financial education whatsoever in society. And it's as if nobody wants us to know how money really works like how does money really effing work not our ideas about money not our dreams about money like how money really works and it doesn't work by you working for it like when you're taking care of a parent who can't take care of themselves anymore you you don't you understand that time is short man and just working for money makes no damn sense. I remember my dad, he's like, my dad was like a, on the weekends, he would hit the bottle hard, right? And he would say things like, you know, 
use your head for more use your head for more than a hat rack you know pick sense out of nonsense and i never really i mean i understood it but because he was referring to my common sense and lack thereof of it to come into his common sense in the bottom of a a, a, a fifth of of jack daniels or not jack daniels it was a uh, Ooh, Bacardi, dark. <laughs> Jeez. Wow, dude. People yeah. Jeez. But people don't understand that money, like my dad worked and my mom worked for money. And then I saw like homeboys that I that, that are investors for years. And they would just tell me, like my staff sergeant told me, he was like, you know, we were it was in the military. It was ninety five, man. No, no, it was 92. Yeah, it was 92, dude. And my staff sergeant told me, stop being a man whore and chasing all these women and go invest in a company that we're all using right now. And it's $5 a share. And I didn't, and I was like, what the heck is that? He's like, you use it every day and you don't know what it is. I was like, no, I don't. He was like, it's Windows. It's by a company called Microsoft. It's $5 a share. Go buy that shit now. And I didn't. I kept being a man of war. Chasing them bristles in the street. And, and that... That was my first education to investing, right? Then I even got into the market and started doing options. Reading a book by Jim Cramer. I think it was one of his first books. I can't remember the name of it right now. And in it, he said that unless you can guarantee that you can make a stock price and you're doing something to make the stock price go up or down you cannot determine the price of a stock you can't so then i started realizing though that's what these rich people do right they go work on a stock by getting their marketing friends and their pr friends and and their all these other people to help them push a product or an artist or musician, whatever. That's what they do, right? But when it comes to the stock market, you, me, we don't have none of that insight. We don't know what they're going to push next or what they're going to help promote next. We don't know these things. And in crypto, it's the same thing. You don't know what's going to pump. You don't know what's not going to pump. But you know what I've been realizing with just using something as simple as these robots? is that I can spy on the market, right on the right. See this side? I can spy on it a little bit. <laughs> so I can see what's pumping. This, and especially since this is KuCoin, um, description, the, the link uh, to KuCoin's exchange is uh, in my uh, description. But KuCoin, as you can see, the percentages there, which were like, before the market went redundant, please stupid. The market was like doing like we were like a hundred and something. Like there's screenshots I was showing folks. You can look in the Discord. You scroll up on the Discord. I've got screens for like I think like a month and change of me working the bots. And before I started the training, I've been testing and testing and testing these bots. And you're seeing the results of me just testing and testing and testing them, right? Like, that's why I didn't do the training yet, because I wanted to actually know that, okay, well, can the bots work? And I didn't expect to for the bots to get slammed into this market. Like, they're getting hard tested right now. Like, let me go to spot history, and I can just pull up yesterday's spot, right? So let's say between the 21st and the 22nd, say, right? Look what the bot made. Between the 21st and the 22nd, two days, not today, between the last two days, the bot with the market doing this 
the bot still pulled four hundred and thirty two dollars. That's the reason why I'm doing this. That's why I'm up early in the damn morning, every morning, making sure I've got 15 spots running over here. Because for me, this is what I consider like spot mining. Like other miners mine with other types of hardware. This is a piece of hardware that has a piece of software that allows you to get percentages. Is that not mining? Looks like it to me. I see there's one viewer. What's up, what's up? So, that's what's going on. The news is stupid, but when I, the last time I was in this shit, pardon me, I shouldn't be cursing all up. Sorry, I'm still tired. The last time I had to go through this market in 2017, I lived this. I lived it right before the pump. Right before it jumped up and went stupid. Right? And I had thought Bitcoin was, it was right before summer. I thought Bitcoin was over. I thought it was going to die out. And I started cashing out stuff. Because I was like, well, this is it. This is as high as it's going to get. It ain't going to get no higher than this. I'm reading all the other news. This is my first season. My first crypto, real crypto season. After the happening. If you don't know what a happening is, Bitcoin, the rewards that a miner gets and what a miner is, is somebody who has a, 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 a computer. Let's just say like you, a computer in your house, right? You've got a box and that box can make you money. Before you could have a bunch of box. before you only needed one box, so you can make some decent Bitcoin. It wasn't going to make you a lot of money, but it made you a lot of Bitcoin, but that Bitcoin wasn't worth much. As more and more machines got on the network, mining the cryptocurrency, getting faster and faster machines, more specific machines called ASICs, which are their uh, their their own this they're built to have a one thought mind, right? They they're only there to handle Bitcoin or handle a specific type of um, encryption for the coin, right? Now. I saw it last time. I jumped out of it, and then that summer run, and it went all the way up, and then nobody could call. I didn't. I couldn't call the crash at all. And then, it, boom, it crashed out on us, right? So that's what you live in this market. And then you learn to buy when you see it on sale. If you know what the run-up was, you know what the run-up's going to be, you know where it's going to, you know that the scarcity doesn't change. Like, that's what I just don't, I get it. I get people's fears, but I also get that people probably threw way too much money in the market. Or they focused on Bitcoin being their only source of income. Guys, the stock market is pumped right now. Like, there's no jobs whatsoever, right? Jobs are, there's people that, there's plenty of jobs, but nobody wants to do physical labor like that anymore. Nobody wants to do that shit. And I'm part of the problem. Let me, let me, let me introduce myself to some of y'all that don't know. I am Jay Tragic Jeffrey. I have worked in computers for years, I built my first computer when I got out of the military after my staff sergeant had told me to buy Microsoft at $5, and I didn't. I then understood that computers were going to take over, and I built my first computer by reading a book. I've also learned how to design graphics through Photoshop by understanding that you just had to learn UI and that resumes were going to be nothing more than software titles on your resume. The more software titles you had on your resume, the more successful you'll be in the business or whatever business you want to be in. I asked my mother what was at the time. I said, what is a good salary to have since everybody was kind of wigging out of why this kid was on a computer in, in 1999 and couldn't understand why he was on it. I asked her, well, what's a good salary? And then by 2000, I had a job at Citibank. Or 2001, I had a job at Citibank. 
one of those three. At the Citibank Private Bank, and there I learned automation. Back then we called it macros. With automation, you could sit there and um, automate the desktop to do work. You still can today. It's called business process automation. I did that for another company called Canon, where I did development for. Where I learned, where because I had figured out that WordPress was going to be the number, well, PHP was going to be the number one programming language. I picked it when I left the bank. I went, I was like, because we were using CGI Pearl, and I was like, well, this is stupid. I don't get it. Then I quit because I was like, well, I'm going to have to learn how to be a developer, so I moved to Georgia. Um, Mac MacTown, what's up? Um, then after I went to Georgia, I learned to be a developer. I found PHP. I started coding in PHP. I, uh, I was like, okay, well, I know the bank was lo looking at this thing called a content management system, and there was a thing company called TeamSite. So I looked at what the specs were, and I was like, well, that's too expensive. I can't learn that software. So let me look at what other content. Let me just learn content management systems in PHP. So I started looking at a few. Uh, it was like PHP Nuke, PHP website, and stumbled across a little one called WordPress at 1.5. I went ahead and looked at it, got into it, started working with it, said, you know what, I could start building company websites with that. Started doing that, um, to began, started learning how to do that. And while I was doing that, was making money on MySpace, selling MySpace layouts, getting paid through PayPal. I had a PayPal debit card and I was cashing out like that. So PayPal became my bank directly and I cut my, and all my, cause all my other banks had basically dumped me cause I wasn't making enough money to keep an account open. Of course that was right before the 2004 great recession, right? That's what we're dealing with. You know, that's what you're dealing with, with this market. That nothing is etched in stone. After I left, I came to New York and I realized even getting a job at Canon as a graphic uh, web developer, and doing WordPress sites for, for people that they needed my automation more than anything else. Built an automation system that printed out catalogs for them, PDFs, made PDFs. Took a spreadsheet, made a beautiful PDF book. We were able to get contracts faster than anybody else. Wasn't getting enough money and I left. I wasn't going to stay in New York and I couldn't pay my bills. So I was out. Came back to Georgia. And then I realized nobody needs developers anymore. Not WordPress developers, everybody can do that. And I realized that soon, because of my automation and how easy automation was getting, that there's going to become a rollover effect in which businesses at some point would realize they don't need people to work at, uh, at the office and they could make them work at home, especially if they could watch them through a VPN on computers that they controlled in the cloud. Then the pandemic hit. Of course, I was now working for a wealthy real estate uh, uh, wealth education person. You can do your own Google search to figure out who that person was in 2020, 2019. In the black community. Right? So I was doing that, and then and then Rona Rona hit, and I was out because I dated an epidemiologist, so I know how bad infectious disease can get, especially one that I was already watching what was going on on foreign uh, news stations, right? The truth is we don't have any financial education here, and we don't have any financial avenues or vehicles for us to leverage to be able to do anything with. I don't speculate crypto. I ha I can't. My brain doesn't work that way. Like, I need, not to say guarantees, but I need some assurances, man. Like, I don't like throwing my money around, and I don't like hopium. Like, I don't get high on hope. I'm not on hopium. Like, what's practical? You know what's practical for me? While we've been talking, look at what the bot's already been doing. Right? That's how this works. 
right? Now, while I'm sitting here, the bots have already started ticking in profit margins while the market's still doing a little bit of a dippage. It's, it's getting inches in this game. Percentages, right? My overall goal as a fund manager, because I manage my own funds, I have a portfolio. This is a portfolio of funds. I am a now a fund portfolio manager. If this, I'm not trying to be cute and glamorous with this by definition. So it's up to us to now understand that we are in the same league as big people with smaller amounts of cash flow. This is a hundred and twenty. I paid a hundred twenty dollars today. Like it was like uh, my um, the subscription renewed. I pay $120 a month. I'm, I pay $120 a month. What did I make in those two days? See what I mean? That's what I'm talking about. That's why I do this. Right, so let me get the next bots rolling because I know Coinbase is out of pocket and we need to get these cleanups done. I, I can't ADD all the way out. Give me a moment because I got to open that screen separate since it is not. You can't have two of the same windows open. So I have to go do this different. Give me one moment. Let me get this set up. Bot. Hope everyone's well. Hope that y'all are not stressed. And understand that this market and the fundamentals of this market have not changed. They haven't. I'm still in this market. The reason why I'm, I decided to go live for the anybody that continue watching this from the beginning on a replay or something like that. Not too bad. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is I want you to see my demeanor. Like, this this is what it looks like when you wake up in a red day. and you, But you've got bots on help. What I've learned being an automation um, engineer is if you've got a good tool that helps you um, do your business and your processes better, Right, so I do automation. I write automation. A good platform is Microsoft is doing some stuff now. They bought one of the companies I had um, that my one of the robots I use, which was Win Automation. They bought that company is now called Power Automate on Win on Windows. That's an interesting automation platform. There's actually a, a one that I really like that I'm going to start getting into. That's a Node.js one um, called uh, N8N. And that one, or Nodemation, I think it's called. N8N.io. That one is dope. So what I did, so what I did is I hit this, I hit these to turn off my bots. I sold off my bots. Uh, I didn't sell any of the actual underlying assets. I just turned off any of the orders. Now I'm just looking at my dates, so I know I'm starting from here, from the new, and I'm moving it up. I'm just looking at my titles. Yeah, I like all of these tickers, so I'm gonna reload them again because I like them. They did they did well for Coinbase. This is really well. Like Coinbase is my low risk portfolio, lower risk. I mean, there's there's no uh, real true low risk in crypto. <laughs> the only low th the only real low risk you have is buying a crypto that earns interest and being okay with ever what with whatever APY. Right. But this is lower risk than being on certain other exchanges that have higher risk assets. The assets here are not as high risk. I've been in places where every month a coin's getting delisted. On Coinbase, it's not that. It's not like that. I have coins that I've had the entire time that I've been there, and they're still coins that are, that they, they pick, they've been picking decent coins. A lot of coins, they've picked a lot of stuff now. And there's a lot of things in the background we don't understand on why they choose their coins. But for the most part, 
I mean, they seem to be really good projects and supportable projects. All right, so what I'm done is I close out all my bots. I'm on the spot history screen and I look up here and I can tell these bots are kind of, I'm, I'm not in the right headspace because I've got weird numbers. I'm not used to that one. Yeah, that was just that must have been the last of, I uh, just didn't catch. All right, anyway, moving my bots down, that grid step needs to change. I like 198 as a grid step. I can't do a back test on it because it won't really matter. There's not good, where I'm moving this down, there is not enough information for it to do a back test on. So back test won't help me. I'm going to just, since I don't have any good numbers, I'm just looking to see a buy in point that does not add extra purchases. So whatever this is plus this, I don't want any pluses. So I'm just dropping it down so there's none of that. So I see 13, I want it to be at least an even, 12 is good. There we go. How high is it? No, can I just want it right under? All right, 95 bucks on this play, that's fine. So you can see, I'm, I'm, I'm showing you how you can do trades for low amounts of money. Start. I gotta sell some also, but I'm also selling, I also have assets, so that's not a 1,000%. But you can still see, hold on, you can see what these bots were running for, 152 bucks, 162 bucks, 156 bucks. Like, I'm scalping inches. Like I could just stack all of them on one coin, but I like to, I want to diversify. I want to see the fact that I do all these. Look what I can see. Oh, now maybe I would stack more on Ada. Right? Maybe I will stack more on. And actually, I, maybe I will stack more on Ada because it's Ada and it's getting ready to pump. So, since I believe in the in Cardano, I also trade it on the back end. I'm going to make money on buying and holding. I have ADA in my in, in our long-term holdings. And I'm going to have ADA here trading. If I believe in it, why am I not going to? But I just did this without looking. I had 16 on that. Not be able, oh, you know what? 16. I'm going to keep the numbers because I like the number. It's doing nice. So I'm going to keep that number the way it was and keep it at 16. So I need... 15 down here because I see one red low. Oh, no, actually, might need more. I say 16, right? Wait, was that what I said? Damn. Okay, my me. Yeah, it was. All right, I gotta remember 16. Boop, boop, boop. That's a weird number, and I'm just like, uh, is it really 16? Nah, I can't be 16. Send, send. That can't be sent in that sense then. All right, 16. Yeah. All right. You know it's going to be 16. You know it's going to be 16. So drag it out. 15. And yeah, that's 16. Right there. Still no extras. That's good. And trigger the bot. Let's get it. Yep. Sell some ADA to get her back in the market. Got to sell to get back in. That's okay. We'll make it back up. We will make it back up. Plus, we're getting in low. So, I ain't going to trip on that. You just fell out of range while we were talking. All right. So, we're going to kill that. I'll show you again. We kill it by hitting that. I want to cancel all my open orders because I want to keep both of the assets on both sides of the play, which is the GNT and the USD, the GNT and the USDC. I want to keep them both. So I'm doing that and that's going to kill it. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to keep working while I wait. Well, I came anyway. Uh, let's see. We have 198.33. Weird that I went with that. I'm not gonna go with that again because I actually think I can tighten it up better. I don't think those were good numbers. Based off of what I know, what I know what I know is odd numbers don't play right on here. 16, I actually like 16 for this for some reason. It's a feeling thing. Always make sure your bots say trailing up. Sometimes I 
something glitches out, I've got to verify that my new actually has trailing up set. For some reason, if you if you don't have this ch uh, clicked off and it tells you trailing function automatically moves the grid up when the market price increases. So as this goes up, the bot will keep following it all the way up, notching out profits all the way as it goes. That's what this feature is. It's set by default, which is good. Let me just check and make sure every one of the bots have that on because, like I said, one of my bots before, by default, didn't. I think it was new. Let me see if I can find one. And if you don't catch it, it'll slip right by you. Yeah, there. It was GNT. See? My GNT before had no trailing up feature and I was missing money on the top side. This time it does automatically have it set. Because I went back in and saved it. 24. I like that. I like 24. I like 24. We're going to go back with that. How did it do with 24 though? 15% down, but still got a carved out a 2 Nah, man, we're good with that. 2% on Coinbase? Yeah, we're good. No, no, no. These guys on Coinbase, they're, they're, the way they, these guys that are on the left-hand side, the way they, they notch out their numbers and how they do it, nah, we're, we're making better trade numbers the way I have it set up. I want to do 16 on this one just to be a weirdo. I just want to do it to, to be a weirdo. I want to see. But I don't have no extra charges. All right. Let's get back in the market. Yes. I should have dragged this down a little bit further. Because sometimes when you're this close to the edge, it will error out and say insufficient funds. And then you have to just tweak it a bit by dragging the slider down a bit a little we'll see while we wait holy crap my bad y'all shit <laughs> i've been having a whole conversation like you can see any of the things i'm doing <laughs> i'm sorry damn damn it man damn it man Nobody was in there to see it anyway. Oh well, doesn't even matter. <laughs> see? Oh well, don't even matter. I was working, and I'm here to work. So my bad if for a bit you didn't get to see anything. But a blank ass screen. Um, for a recap, I was turning off robots and turning off robots and putting things on i was having a whole conversation and hadn't even dragged it over to make sure you could see it oh well wow. don't even matter i'm just showing you how do you deal with the fire so it looks like my bots are rolling looks like i got all my bots back in play. Closed. DNT's closed. That's good. Wait. I have no DNT. I have no mana. I have no band. Oh, those are the ones that started. All right, cool. I didn't go too far. I still got shit to do. Cool. All right, so let's see. We got new rolling. Seagull. Do I have a seagull up here? Yeah, I do. I'm good. I'll do this myself up here. All right. Here we go. So, 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 so. 198.14 on seagull. I like seagull, so I'm definitely going to keep seagull's bots going. It's got 14 on it. 198.14. Let's drop you down. Let's scroll you up. Tighten it up right here. 14 was my number. So drop it just underneath and scroll up to 14. And then trigger it. Can't do a back test on this because it's too low. 
Bon, 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 bon. All right. So now that that bot is <clears throat> now that that bot is back online, we're gonna go back to spots again. Get the next one back on. It's gonna be banned. Again, we're on Coinbase. Coinbase is, uh, as you can see, the profit has been in a month is not is not as big as our other coin. Uh, hold on, as you're not letting me do this, are you? Hold on. There we go. Okay, so this is the KuCoin, right? This is our, let's do it for the month, right? So let's just say from this to, we won't do today, right? And then I'll do the same over here from here to yesterday, right? So you can see 496 on Coinbase, right? Round about the same amount of money on both of them. You can just see that there's better percentages on KuCoin. So that is my, it's a higher risk exchange and there's some higher risk coins. This is a long-term portfolio and one of this is Bittrex and that's to get ETH, which, yeah, I hope I still have running. Yeah, I do. It's still making money too, right? So right now what I'm doing is I've already fixed all of my bots on, on KuCoin because that is the biggest amount of money that we make um, as a, a fund is the KuCoin uh, exchange gives us our highest rates of return. Right now I've turned these on. As you can see, it's been running for about 32 minutes since I cleaned this up from this morning and uh, started the stream. And you can see it's already started earning um, now doing the same thing over on, uh, on the lower risk one. I've cut off some of the spots and I'm triggering them back on uh, because they were they had what's called uh, out of range where it says on the status. The status was in yellow. It said uh, range. And when you see range, that typically means that where these are are not in the range anymore. They're, the price has fallen down like this. This is out of range. Right, the price is up here where I set it, but it's now down here. So I'm fixing all of them that are out of range and putting them back in range. Okay, so let me go back in here. C gold we have rolling. CVC is rolling. E here and. Band needs to start. Got 14 on band. What's up, everyone? Hope everyone's doing all right. Cleaning up. Any? I see there's a new person. I'm just cleaning up um, my robots to get them more profitable because they've fallen out of range since Bitcoin has taken the crapper. I know I know what the number was, but I'm going to do something different. I feel different on this, and especially since this was off. One, I want it to be 198. Is my new test number for this last this cycle? It's been doing well. I don't want to go higher. Just get good returns on that, and I'm just gonna dial in how many grid lines I want. And I think I'm going to go with, I have to actually drag it. I think I'm going to go with 20. Can I? No, I can't. So I'm going to go with 16. Let's try 16. It's a good number. All right, it's even. Let me just make sure we are at the top. That's good. All right. And start. Yes, we're going to have to sell to get back in. We're going to let this play out. And then we're going to trigger the next bot. And then I'll start looking at what's going on with this China FUD. I already kind of know what the deal is with this crap. 
Come on, y'all. Got to be patient and let it get back in the market. Yes, sell. I would move away from the screen and look at something else, but when those pop-ups come in, if you don't catch them when they first come in, the bot will crap out. And I clicked on something. Okay, good. Sometimes if you click on anything, it might crap out too. So, nope, it actually got it through. So we're going there. All right, let's see. Band, GNT, and C Gold are all there. All right, and I've got nine pairs trading. And I feel like I'm missing some. So let's just go down the line to make sure. What I'm doing is I'm clicking on my bot and I'm looking over here to see if it's telling me that because you can only have one running I'm just using that as a fast way to see which bot isn't running cannot start cannot start cannot start cannot start that's good I think I got everybody DNT is not running why are you not running DNT see that's why you do that Oh, and it jumped down. 20 is my number, 188. That was an old test. I'm going to try the 198 on this new week's test. 198. And then we'll see how many lines we want to do. Uh, now, this I don't want to spend any more money, so I'm dropping it back down. To where it doesn't make me spend more money but I got to oh that's why if you have those reds that causes you to spend money so I'm dropping so that there's no buys up here because if you have that it'll try to pull it'll do that to potentially make a buy there I don't want it to make that buy I want it to if it's going to buy buy below this number and I think 14 since this is up here. I think 14 is good because if it does get down here, we could still bounce back up. So that's what I wanted to do. Ping pong right off here and go right back up. So 14, I'm not spending any extra money. 198 is my new grid step number and I'm using 14 grids on this one. And it's a test. Every single one of these. Sometimes you dial in one number, it works one day. Another time you dial in the same number and it does nothing at another grid pattern with another grid. It's like every single ticker breathes on its own. Every single one breathes on its own different. And with your bots, that's what you're doing. You're trading in and out. Notice, I'm not even dealing with coin. I'm not dealing with back I'm not dealing with backstories that you do when you're when you if you watch my video where if you watch the video when I launch it on Monday um I'm going to do a live on Monday to actually show how to set up your bots and all that other stuff but um there see there it goes right there um when you're triggering by the time I've triggered this bot I've already done my due diligence. So anything that I, anytime any bots that are running, I think, no, I want more of this, especially on Coinbase. I'm on Coinbase to earn more. Um, use BTC, USDC, BTC, ETH. You're using that to earn either more of this to buy more of that because I can use this profit and buy more of that if I wanted to on my personal um, portfolio, right? Or I can buy, or I can add more to it and get more trades into it. I think it's gonna cry, uh, crash out. It's taking too long to trade, and it's asking me twice. So I don't think it's gonna make it. Hold on, y'all. Damn. Oh. God, it's too early for this crap. Like, I haven't even had breakfast yet. Like, this is this is what a work day looks for bot people. <laughs> you want bots? You get up in the morning and you tr and you do boring ish like this. But for me, <laughs> it's worth every boring moment of it. 
because for me it's a hunt again i am i am hunting percentages i have to wait till that triggers right because i know i just did the <gasps> dnt I'll go move past it just so I can see if anything else is needing to run. Mana. I definitely need mana running. I can't believe I didn't turn it back on. Must have been a bad day yesterday. I didn't even think. Mana. Turn that off. Close May 19th. Oh, I've shut her off for a while. All right. Let's drop it down. It was 12 and 298. How did that do? That was a research test. This mana did 2%. And this mana did 4%. But it had 4 I mean, it's round about the same. Right around the same. Hmm. 28 trades, 70 trades. I'm going to try it again. I'm going to try it again. So this was 12, 298 and 12, 298 and 12. I need it right down, scroll it up. 298 and 12, 298, 14. You know what? I don't pay no extra money and it's 14. Nah, we're going to do 14. Why not? Let's see if it goes through. It's a bit different and it may or may not work. We'll see. It may make me go 12. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, got that. Yeah. Like I was saying, this market does not care how you feel this market does not care if you want to believe in the technology or you don't you know it doesn't matter that everybody that's new into this market doesn't get the market yet and that it affects you because you're a long-term holder you can't care but that's how that's how other people feel in the stock market right when you listen to CNBC and you hear these people that are in the stocks and they they have large significant percentages of a portfolio that hold a particular stock and they're pissed because new con uh, new investors are jumping in and messing with the trades right well this is the same thing except now it's not like a pump it's just fear because what is this what did i buy and why isn't it not making any money what you bought is a technology what you have is a technology at the earliest of its start. And it's whether or not you are willing to wait. So it, you shouldn't be using this to make money. You should be out there making money to pay your bills and to pay for the things that allot you to buy more crypto in a slow process or to go slow and use robots like I'm doing to slowly gain larger significant positions in crypto. DNT still didn't play. 188. All right, put this in. Guess it crashed. So we're just going to do this really fast because I said I want it right before the bounce, but I'm going to do it right at there. Wait, and I want it at 198. 13, no. 14, please, if we're going to use it. Or 12, if we're going to use it. But no, I want to have a little wiggle room there. Let's see if this does it. Come on, come on. Jump on. Let me check something really fast. 
Yep, I do. Good, good, good. All right, DNT is on. I think my damn tickers are good to go now. I just need to move a few things down, I think, but I think I've gotten all of the usual, oh wait, DSLA isn't in play either? Oh, that's because that's, yeah, I don't do that anymore. I'm not, that's KuCoin. I'm trying to keep that separate from this. And that's Seagold USD. I'm not doing that one. I'm not doing that one anymore. And I already have that running. Uh, 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 uh. Storage, really? I don't have this one running. Sometimes you have an old one that you can just throw back into a play. This was one of those that I'm just gonna throw back in a play because we have some extra bots now that I'm not doing KuCoin over here. We've got some extra bots, a little bit of money that can be put to use. That's what you do. You find where you can stick some money to use when you have your bots just running, running, running. There we go. It's 50 bucks in play. I'm gonna drop it down a little bit because it's too tight. And I know it's probably gonna crash on me and say it's insufficient funds. So I like, I'll do 90% of that and hit start. Just to give me a little wiggle room to have fees be put in so it actually goes into the order column. I just know now innately when you're that tight and low with how much money it is, you just got to kind of wiggle it and massage it to get it to get your old bots to run. So, dun -dun, dun -dun. yep, so now we have that running. Okay, so now some of our bots are trading. All of our bot, how much is, I got 12 running, good. And that last one was storage. Storage, storage, storage. Band BTC is already trading. Storage, storage, storage. It was this one, storage BTC. So anchor BTC would be the next one. What are you doing? You ain't doing nothing really and we still have some anchor hold on drop it down yeah i think this wasn't i didn't understand how to trade these yet i was working too much on the other side i'm actually going to tighten this number really tight and go with a 14 with a 198, of course. And I'm just going to drag this back out to... No, you know what? I'm going to go with the 12. Yeah. Let's go with 12. 198 on this one. And see if she'll run. Again, I'm just trying to put some money to work. There's money sitting around not doing anything. In projects that I haven't watched in a while. Because I was too busy on KuCoin getting those higher interest numbers to really focus on Coinbase. So I am now fixing that by coming back in here and getting at some of these. So where was I? That was Anchor. That. Not enough balance. Yep. So I'm not going to worry about that. Ada. I already have it. I think we're good now. Mana ETH. Ooh, all doing an ETH play. And I still got some money in there. Yeah, come on, let's get it. This is what you're doing. You're just hunting this, making sure if your bots are running or not. Or old bots that you kind of shut off because they weren't really doing anything for you and you want to get extra bots running. When I want some higher percentages, I'll have other bots playing. Doesn't mean I want, don't want those coins or don't want to do anything with those tickers. You just turn them off to get higher percentages elsewhere. Or I'll shift that money 
into something else that was sitting in other uh was being held for other coins like i'll release those uh those funds so that i can use it and, and run on something that's got like a 15 percent jump up this is why i put so many coins on i'm putting these coins on because i want to see what's going to pump or what's pumping and then if i need to i can shift cash out of one coin into another one and push that bot with a higher percentage and jump on and scalp with percentages, right? I'm percentage scalping. So I'm seeing that we've got it down. I want to drop this down to about 90, just so I want the bot to be able to run. I got it at 18, which is all right. I'm good with that. And it's going to trail up. Let's trigger it. And we're going to sell some and get in. All right. I think that's it. I think we have gotten all the bots. I got at least 13 bots running. And that, for me, is good. Anything less than 12 bots. 14. That's even better. 14 bots running. So that's great. I got one bot free to be able to pull the trigger on uh, having some type of rotational bot. So 14, I like 14 to 15 bots running. I've got two bots going. All right. So now I can show you how so far these bots have been doing. The links to these bots are uh, live. Oh, speaking of which, I got to make sure of that. I got to uh, turn on all of these. There we go. So that they're on the live link that you can see all of these trades in real time you got to turn them on all right so for the month let me make sure i did do that save this is the current month uh as of till today actually no i want it as of yesterday not today's numbers because we're just living today all right so as of yesterday 496 was our profit as you can see we had red days this is the one thing that did lose out some back in May 19th. Now, we did have some losers, but you can see I have way more green than I had losses. Same can be seen with our other bot here at KuCoin, which is our high risk bot. You can see I, I'm going to refresh the screen so you can see this is real. As you can clearly see, these bots have been running for 53 minutes. This is my latest bot. It's been 53 minutes since we're dealing with this market. And as such, it is already itch etching out some profits. It's done 24. It's 24 grids. It's got seven transactions already. 10 transactions here, 37 transactions here. We've made 2%. Already made a dollar. See? And look at the market. I told you I was I want to draw I want to cash the bounce. <laughs> this entire thing that you saw this morning, this exercise you see I do every morning. But I want you to see it in real time. Okay? That way you could actually see what it looks like when the market goes to hell. What kind of hands, not, not diamond hands, man, just steady surgeon hands, man. Get in here, get on your bots. Get them reset. Get them trading again. When this looks like this, but then this is a sea of green. Come on. That's why I do this. That's why I'm up. That's why I put the links in the description. And that's why if you're interested in getting into your bots, you can get in. this damn thing alone. You could just play around and do it. But I will be having my training released. Uh, I'll be doing a live show on uh, to, on Monday, which is tomorrow. Um, because today's Sunday. Yeah, I'll do a live show tomorrow, most likely afternoon. Because in the morning, I just want to make sure I get everything locked in place. Well, with my bots, make sure we're not having another down day. Make sure I don't have to quickly do a live stream to fix things again, because that's what I'll do now, right? I'm going to counteract the fear by getting online and working through my day in real time with you, right? So I'm done. I'm going to go make myself something to eat.
Go get my mama something to eat. I'm going to talk to y'all later. Peace out.